Hi everyone, I'm Steven from Longshore Boats and today we're going to go over uh, your trailer. A lot of boats come equipped with trailers. Some people purchase them after the fact, but today I'm going to show you how to maintain them, uh, kind of how to hook it up to the vehicle and some of the uh, equipment that comes with the trailer. So the first thing you're going to do is this is, we'll pretend your, is your car and that's the hitch. Uh, that's going to slide into the receiver on your vehicle and basically it's going to slide up in here. Once that ball's in there, you're going to drop this down and you can see it's not coming out anymore. So once that is firmly in there, you have a safety pin. That safety pin is going to go inside and basically keep that from releasing. That will no longer pop up. So it's a nice little safety feature if you hit a big bump or a pothole in a road, you know it's not going to come loose. You also have your safety chains here. So there's two. Usually you want to crisscross them, attach them to the bottom of the hitch. These are for if basically the trailer hitch broke loose or something gave away. This is what's going to keep the trailer attached to your vehicle. This is an e-brake. It's basically a chain that if everything does break loose, this is going to pull and it's basically going to engage all the brakes on your trailer to slow it down and keep you safe. You also have a trailer plug. This is going to be for your lights, uh, your turn signals in the back. And also on this trailer in particular, when you put the trailer in reverse, it's going to disengage the brake so you can actually back the trailer up. So talking about brakes, basically right here, when you sl slow down your vehicle, this is going to slide in and out, which is going to put pressure to the rear on the brakes where the calipers are, and it's going to act as a braking mechanism and slow the trailer down. A lot of people see this cap here, but this is brake fluid. And you kind of want to make sure every once in a while check it and see how nice and clear and clean that is. That's what you want it to look like. You don't want to see rust in there because that shows that you got some moisture going on. But routine maintenance on it, you know, once a year when you bring your boat in for inspection, you know, have them go through the trailer. Now this trailer is equipped with a breakaway tongue. Very popular here when you're trying to store these inside your garage. You pull the pin out. This will actually fold over and save you two or three feet. Um, helps you get it into a garage. Also, you know, if you're in a parking spot, it just it makes it a lot shorter. This is your trailer tongue jack. It's basically going to raise the trailer up and down. So you can actually get it to your car, slide it over the ball hitch, or bring it back up to take it off the hitch. A lot of people bring it in the, the highest position when they're storing the boat so that the rainwater washes out of the boat, which helps you know for storage. Here you have your winch. This is basically going to pull the boat back onto the trailer when it's in the water. This one here, you basically take the load off it and you put it into the neutral position, and that's going to let you unwind it, which is going to let you loosen this up and take it off. So when you're backing the boat into the water, you want to leave this hooked until you get down there and then you're going to release it and bring it back. It's also equipped with a safety chain or cable, but this is another safety feature in case this gives away as you're towing. This is your last resort. It's basically going to keep the boat on the trailer. Uh, you can see this is a full aluminum trailer here. This is built for a saltwater environment. It has stainless steel uh, fittings, bolts, nuts, washers. Uh, it will still rust. You have to clean it. Uh, just because it's aluminum and stainless doesn't mean it's going to rust out. Or it will rust out. But a lot of things here, you got to get down low. If you take a look at what's underneath this, it's carpet. It's more hardware, it's more aluminum, more stainless. Uh, you have to clean that with plenty of fresh water. These bunks here are usually made out of wood and they're wrapped with the carpet to help the boat slide on and off. Spray that with water and you'll start seeing the you know, salt water drip out. Uh, if it's going to be wet, let's leave it be fresh water. And we'll come back here towards the tire. Some trailers will have a radial tire on them, some will have a bias ply, it just depends on the, the load and the weight. Uh, one thing I always want to talk about, uh, first time boat owners, it's a brand new trailer. You have your lug nuts which basically are attaching this tire to the trailer. They can back away and get loose. 
So your first, second time, I always tell people to go tighten them. Just make sure that they're, they're on there properly uh, so you don't lose a tire. Here is where you put the grease. As you can see inside there, uh, that's grease in the hub to keep it cool, to keep the bearing running nice and smooth. Every once in a while, take a look in there and just make sure it's not full of water. Uh, if it is, just you know, get it serviced and cleaned out. Double check your tire pressure. If you got one side low, one side high, it's just going to ride uneven and be a lot bumpy. So just double check on the tire. Make sure you're uh, in the proper PSI. Um, one thing I like on the trailers, I love them on the boat, but I also recommend this product for cleaning the trailers. It's a product called Salt Away. It's going to remove salt. It's going to kind of dissolve it. Um, so when you're washing your boat, wash the trailer with it. It's going to kind of remove some of the salt and, and put a little bit of a polish to it. Very important here, this is where your brake caliper is. You're not going to see many drums anymore. It's going to be a brake caliper like your car. Um, you need to get the hose inside here. That will rust out the first time if it's not properly cleaned. So take the garden hose or your salt away and definitely get that caliper and everything very clean. Um, one of the last things here is the safety feature. You have lights on the back of the trailer, just like your car. You have a stop light and a turn signal light. Uh, when you hit the brakes on your car, it's going to let the people know in the back that you're slowing your boat down. If you're turning left or right, again, it's going to let them know that you're turning left or right. I hope that short video helps answer some of your questions on the uh, proper use of the trailer, how to operate it, and some of the safety features to it. Uh, Rabalo and Chaparral and Edgewater, a lot of them come equipped with the trailer. So it's just some good knowledge to uh, answer some of those questions after the fact if you do have them. Uh, if something else that comes up, feel free to give us a call at 843-216-4700. Once again, I'm Stephen from Longshore Boats, uh, and thank you for watching.